With the five gram vial in an upright position, begin by reconstituting the hydroxocobalamin with 200 milliliters of diluent using the supplied sterile transfer spike. The line on the vial label represents 200 milliliters of diluent. Hold the vial level to make sure the diluent reaches the fill line. Following the addition of diluent to the lyophilized powder, the vial should be repeatedly inverted or rocked, not shaken, for at least 60 seconds prior to infusion. The hydroxocobalamin solution should be visually inspected for particulate matter and color prior to administration. If the reconstituted solution is not dark red, or if particulate matter is seen after the solution has been appropriately mixed, the solution should be discarded. The solution is now ready to be infused. Using the supplied vented intravenous tubing, hang and infuse over 15 minutes. Because there are a number of drugs and blood products that are incompatible with cyanokit, it requires a separate intravenous line for administration. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs>